Hey guys, Bo the Bible here, um, <clears throat> live from the cabin I'll be staying in for the majority of this summer. Um, so, quick update, this is my cabin I'm staying in, I'm working at a ranch slash youth camp type thing. Um, I feel like this camera's kind of off, I'm going to take it. There we go. <sighs> Something you don't want to see again. But, um, yeah, so this is where I'm going to be staying. Um, this is my bed over here. Uh, I would flip it around, but I don't think you want to see where three teenage guys live. Um, all in good fun. Honestly, it's pretty clean here. For now, for now. <laughs> but uh, I just was saying hi, and I was kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on in my life right now, and just some encouraging things that have been happening. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll start with, we had teen camp, was it, it was two weeks ago now, and that was a lot of fun. Um... And honestly, to be completely honest, God really didn't work in my heart very much. Um, and I'm still not 100% sure why. I've got a couple of ideas what it might be, but um, I didn't have, it was, it felt like radio silence most of the week and it was very scary. It was very scary because normally God really speaks to me and I've been struggling lately with my Christian walk and things. So I was really looking forward to that and it was like, for the first half of the week and really most of the week, it was just like radio silence. And um, <clears throat> the only thing he spoke to me on was some bitterness I had in my heart. So I'm working on that. And as time went on, I don't know why I keep saying and like that, but and anyway, <laughs> um, as time went on the last couple weeks, um, my Christian walk has really been improving a lot. I'm starting to get back into it, which I'm excited about. Um, I think God did that just to show me because the last few months I've been so busy with school and other things that I haven't really, I haven't made time for God. I have the time, I just, I have not forcefully kind of put it into my schedule where it should be. And so God was kind of showing me, look, this is what it's like without me 100%. Um, this is what it's like, you know, kind of for God, really, when I don't listen to him, that's kind of what it's like for him. Obviously, he doesn't need me, but it gave me kind of a glimpse, I guess, into what he feels like when I decide not to follow him and obey him and try to have a relationship with him so I think it was it was painful but I think it was a really eye-opening thing and I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened because I think that helps me kind of remember hey look I can think about I can you know in the moment um, when I'm tempted to not do devotions tempted to not follow God in the day I can think about well, what was it like without God and that really reminds me of well what's the point of it if I'm not gonna serve God you know I, it looks so nice to do these things to, you know, waste his time doing this, um, but it's not worth it. So that's something God's been teaching me lately, just how important it is to have a relationship with him and how much it really does impact me. Because when I'm in the relationship, it feels like life's just good in general, and, you know, why do I keep saying and like that? It feels like life's just good in general, and God is, you know, just working, and it's like, can't take it for granted, but then, you know, it's just... I think it's God just showing me, look, this is this is not normal to be this happy, to be joyful, to be victorious. This is not some just thing that you do on your own. It's just a dormant state for you. This is this is what happens when you're close to me. So I think it's been a good learning experience. Um, oh, what was I gonna say next? I'm losing my train of thought. It's kind of late. I've got to get I got to get to bed. But I was gonna talk about. Um, Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, <clears throat> right, right, right. So I was going to talk about one big decision I've made the last week was to give God my me time. And I think that's something that has been a big influence on me the last couple of months. Um, because I would give God everything in the day and I would do devotions and all this stuff, but I wouldn't give God my me time. So I'd be done with school, I'd be done with all the work I needed to do, and I would just kind of veg and, and you know, play video games or whatever, and, you know, I hate to admit that, but it's true. That's generally what would happen. Sometimes it wouldn't, but for the most part it would. That was the, that was the standard. And so God's been working in my heart, and I gave him my me time a couple days ago, but I, and that's the last thing I think that I've been holding out on, really. Um, just that me time. Just that time where I think, okay, look, I served God, I had a good attitude all day, I did my devotions, I've earned this space where I can just kind of veg and, you know, just kind of waste my time. 
nah, -uh, that's not how it works. It's got to be 0 100. And if you've watched the channel and if you've watched some of the sermons I put out, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go look at the, the I think it, I forget what I called it. It's, it's Get Out of the Boat. It's a sermon on my channel. It's called Get Out of the Boat. I didn't preach it. I wish I could have. That would have been cool to be able to say I preached this. You know, obviously it would be God, but you get my point. Um, it would have been cool to be used by God in that way, but I'm still pretty young, so maybe I'll have a sermon like that eventually. But it's a really, really great message on trusting God. It has been a key the last yearish now, basically in my life, where I've really been getting on track spiritually. And obviously I'm not perfect and I've made a lot of floundering the last couple of months, but that was kind of a thing where I had all the effort before, but I didn't have the key to victory and now I have the key. So now I'm finally starting to get victory through Christ and that's awesome. So look that up, get out of the boat on this channel, or you can find it pretty much, you can find it on Sermon Audio and other places. I'm rambling. So yes, um, that's, that's it, 0 100, and I, I was not 0 100 in my day-to-day -day time, in my t time scheduling. I would schedule myself all these hours where I could just do whatever I want, and that's like, you know, wasting time, not only, but also, that's not just my time to have. I don't give God an hour in the morning, and then I get to have all this time where I don't have to serve Him or do anything positive with my life. No, it's not how it works. So that's something I've given God recently, and I'm excited to see how that works out. Um... It's going to be hard. It's going to be impossible. And that's why I know I'm going to succeed because I'm going to, I'm going to do my very best to trust. To, I'm going to do my very, very best to work really hard to get out of the way and just let God do what he does best. And that's to carry me through. So that's kind of an update. What's going on? Um, give me time to God. Got some bitterness out of my heart. Oh yeah, VBS last week we had at our church was awesome. We had 15 kids saved. And we haven't done it in like three years now. So the fact that we had 70-something kids kind of was awesome. Very incredible. Great. Tons of great stories from that. Maybe I'll just sit down and talk about those sometime. Because there's a lot of great things that happened that week. It was it was incredible. Um, and I'm excited for the future. In a couple weeks. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. This video is probably like... 30 minutes long or something, it's not, but it felt like forever. I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching. Um, God bless. Don't forget to keep him first and to follow him in all your ways, and he will honor you if you do that. But with the Bible saying, uh, sayonara, I don't know. Why do I always do the most awkward outros? <laughs>